We're going to look at how we add up two vectors that are at 90 degrees to each other. So in this first little example here, we're going to have a vector of 3 added to a, a vector of 4, where the, th the 3 vector is acting in an upwards direction and the 4 vector is acting to the right. First thing we need to do when we add vectors together is we want to draw them out. How we have it drawn at the moment will be uh, where you can see how the two vectors are acting on the object. But when we add the vectors, what we want to do is we want to draw them out tip to tail. So what do I mean by that? Well, it does, like with normal numbers, it doesn't matter the order in which you add the numbers. Um, but as we draw them out, we'll draw them tip to tail. So if I draw my four vector along first, because it's an arrow, I can say that the arrow with the head on it is the tip and the part of the arrow with out the head where it's coming from is the tail. So if I add the second vector, I come along here, I draw the, the tip of this one to the tail of the second one. So this was our four vector and this is our three vector. Now the resultant vector is, well if I draw that in a green colour, is from where we started to where we end. So by adding these two vectors, the two blue ones, if I go along to the right by four and then up by three, my resultant vector is the green one. So this plus this is equal to this. Now, because this is a right angle triangle, uh, in order to calculate the magnitude of my resultant vector, what I would do is use Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras' theorem tells me that x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Or, more sort of informally, the, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the sum sorry, is equal to this side squared added together. So in this case, we would have 4 squared plus 3 squared, and that will equal 16 plus 9, which equals 25. And of course, this 25 is the square of the hypo uh, hypotenuse, so that's the square of this, so I need to take the square root of 25, square root 25 and that equals 5 of um, whatever the unit is for this particular vector we're dealing with. So now what I've done is I've found out the magnitude of my vector which is 5.0. Now the second piece of information I need to know about with a vector is of course the angle. So in this case I'm going to want to try and work out the angle from the horizontal and if I have a look at this, well, my 3 is opposite the angle I'm interested in, and the 4 is adjacent to it. So from my trigonometry, I know that tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So tan theta is equal to 3 over 4. And therefore, I want to know that theta is going to be the angle that has the tangent of three quarters, and if I stick that into a calculator, it comes out as being theta is equal to 36.86989, etc. And because my original numbers are to two significant figures, I'm going to give my angle to two significant figures, so my theta is equal to 37 degrees. Okay, here's a second example for you. What we've got here is a tugboat, or sorry, a boat being pulled along by two tugboats at uh, 45 degree angles to the direction of travel of the boat that's being pulled along. You might want to pause the video at the moment and see if you can work out what will be the uh, resultant force of these two forces acting downwards.
Okay, now, well, if we, if you remember, the first thing we have to do is take this diagram and draw it and add the two vectors together, and we add the vectors together by drawing them out tip to tail. So we'll draw our first vector going off in that direction, and we know that the second vector is at 90 degrees to the first vector. So if I come along here and I draw the second vector out, that will give me my the two vectors added together. We know that this one's 8.0 times 10 to the 4 newtons, the second one is also 8.0 times 10 to the 4 newtons. We know that that is a 90 degree angle there. And if I add those two vectors together, well, I started here and I've ended up there. And I'm looking for the magnitude of this. Now we've got a right angle triangle. The resultant vector is the hypotenuse. So if we do the maths with this, so we've got... Let's change the colour, go back to a black. So 8.0 times 10 to the 4 squared plus 8.0 times 10 to the 4 squared, and that equals 1.28 times 10 to the 12, and of course this is the hypotenuse squared, so I need to take the square root of that, so the square root of 1.28 times 10 to the 12 is, that is 1.1317 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons, and of course, again, because I'm only using two significant figures, for my forces to begin with, I would just put this as 1.1 times 10 to the 5 newtons.